everyone! Today's video is very special because it is a remake of one of my oldest videos on YouTube and thousands of you guys voted for me to redo it from scratch. Since I still swear by these tips, most of my voiceover will be recorded in the exact same way, but the approach I give to this will be a bit different. Incorporate homework and classes in your daily planner. That will give you an overall glimpse of how your week will be about and how much time you need to spend in your studying sessions. Color coordinate classes, be it notes, your planner, your textbooks or binders, pick a unique color for each class and work around the hues of that color to get more organized. Make your own syllabus. If your professor doesn't provide a syllabus for your class, try to make one before the school year starts using any given textbooks and other given material. Make study guides. Make a study guide from your syllabus and draw before each topic two boxes. One for the completion of your mid-test and one for the final exam. When you have one of these tests, check the boxes when you finish studying the chapter so you won't miss anything. Reference your material throughout. Most of the times we students work with in-class notes, textbooks and a syllabus. Since we get small bits of information here and there, it's important to reference every page throughout all your material so you can quickly access your information without having to flip endlessly through pages. Also, keep a dashboard nearby. Whenever you use a notebook or a binder, Make a dashboard on the first page with post-it notes so you can quickly scribble any questions, homework or page numbers. When you get home, you just need to open your dashboard and attend those notes. Also, print or collect any tests, exercises and exams you can find. Keep those in the end of your binder. These are perfect to practice before exams and tests because they really reflect what you'll be tested about. Set an alarm clock for the deadline and start working on those tests. Also, always remember to condense. Organization disappears when you have too many of everything. Working with more than one planner in your life will make everything very chaotic. If you think you need a second planner because you don't have enough space to write in the first one, it's because you don't have available time as well. Don't fool yourself and set achievable goals for yourself. Customize your textbooks. Most of the times, textbooks are very formal books where information is hard to come by. Make your own tabs and write every chapter on them so they stick out. Flag any charts, tables or graphics. You need to access everything as easy as you can. Also, print a special planning calendar before finals. Organizing your studying by chapters and our topics before finals is tremendously important since it lets you organize the amount of time you dedicate to each subject. Save at least one afternoon or one morning a week for intensive studying. This is your lifesaver, when you get so full of homework and projects that you can't incorporate them into your daily academic routine, one free afternoon to organize your school life will really come in handy. Make an appointment with yourself. Prepare in advance. Although most professors may not ask you to prepare a class in advance, if you have the means to, just go ahead. Grab some paper and make a summary of the chapter your class will be about. Write the major topics and key information and take that guide with you to class. When your professor repeats previously studied information, you will be able to understand everything much better. Never forget to never leave something behind. Even if you have a lighter class, where professors don't request homework or any side projects, don't let that fool you. Be disciplined and be your own professor. Make your own projects and learn everything you can so you can nail those finals when they arrive. Write your own questions. Most of the time in a heavy study session we come up with tons of questions and sometimes we just leave them behind. Write them down in your dashboard or a small notebook and just ask your professors. You can also ask your schoolmates in a Facebook group created for that purpose. Set an alarm clock and reward yourself. Even if you study during an entire afternoon, your studying will be pointless if you don't take regular breaks. Set an alarm clock for one hour or one hour and a half and then take a 15 minute break. Never study for more than two hours straight. Even if you don't notice, you'll get less and less focused. 
Before each study session, I like to grab my notepad and write down everything that I need to do before my session ends. The chapters I need to read, the pages I need to go through, and the homework I need to complete. Sometimes I even write these lists when I'm in college or I'll have more determination to complete those tasks once I get home. Work on the least interesting thing first. There are always classes or projects that we like the least, and those are the ones we need to tackle first. You will start your studying session concentrated, which will let you go through the worst tasks faster. Try to understand whether you are someone who has to print everything or if you can study from your computer. For some people, having PDF files printed at hand will let you concentrate better and also will let you highlight and write some notes in the margins. You can also take a digital alternative to this with something like an iPad or actively annotating documents in your computer. The secret is to collect all of your documents so you can take those everywhere with you and then turn them into small guides for future classes. If you finish ahead, don't quit. Perhaps the time you've saved for your study session has come to an end way before you have planned. That doesn't mean you should stop right now. Take that time to review what you've learned so far or prepare other classes ahead of time. Also, always remember to study in an organized space. Make your own studying corner. Bring everything you will need from textbooks, binders and notebooks to a cup of coffee and your computer. Keep them neatly organized on your desk so everything is at hand and on site. Put on some soft background music and adjust the lighting. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 17,000 classes in design, photo and much more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes from experts working in their fields, so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and do the work you love. I'm currently watching this class on productivity habits and that has been helping me learn new things and consolidate my own knowledge on self-improvement and productivity. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Also, the first 500 people to click the link in the description box below will get their first two months of unlimited classes for free. So don't forget to open the description box Click that link and sign up for Skillshare for unlimited knowledge and classes for two months. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the second part for this video, which will be uploaded next week. And I will see you later. Bye!